Today, I've got a new video for you guys because I recently posted a video about Britney Spears and exposed the real people who are posting behind her account. Well, it turns out that this person, Cassie, who I called out in my video, is now trying to um, walk back everything we talked about and is acting pretty defensive. So today we're going to talk about that video and the receipts and Cassie's response to my video. There is so much to get through today, so pay close attention. Get ready. For that. Oh my god, guys, I am so hype. I'm actually like way too hyper right now. Get ready to pay close attention, grab a snack, and wash it down with some hot tea because I'm honestly sweating, and I've been sweating for like two hours now because Cassie, this woman who works with Lou M. Taylor and Britney Spears and the whole corrupt crew of critters running Britney's life, has posted in response to my video. I did not think she would ever watch my video, let alone respond to it. So I'm actually kind of shaking right now. So let's take a deep breath. And let's get in to this tea because we're going to walk through what went down with Cassie. We're also going to talk about how Brittany's ex-husband, which I hate calling him her ex-husband because they literally got it annulled. So if you annul a marriage, you it no longer existed. Anyways, her ex-husband was arrested recently for a DUI and other things. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about Brittany's recent post on Instagram because she is posting a ton right now. So let's go ahead and get my glasses on. I can't see anything without these. Thank you guys so much for joining the live stream today. I'm really appreciative that you guys are here. We're just getting started. So let's go ahead and talk about what went down because as you guys know, I posted a video recently about Crowdsurf, which is pretty much the company that runs Britney Spears' social media. Well, Crowdsurf is ran by someone named Cassie and Cassie actually works directly on Britney's social media. If you have not seen my video where we walked through all the evidence, definitely go check that out. We will be referring to some of the evidence today, but that video is very informative. And if you want to know who's posting on Britney's account, then go watch that video. Anyways, Miss Cassie actually posted on Instagram a whole bunch of things because she wants to clear her name after the situation. I guess a lot of you guys like looked her up and maybe commented and she was deleting comments and she's trying to run away from the problems we're calling out because she's quite problematic. Anyways, she posted this on her Instagram story and I pretty much want to go through every single part of it because I feel like there are some things that are obviously lies and that her involvement with Britney Spears just got a whole lot sketchier. Like. If she didn't want us to know that she was posting for Britney's Instagram, she probably shouldn't have said anything because she pretty much confirmed everything we talked about in that video. Hopefully I'm not lagging too much, guys, because I know my internet isn't too great. I need to get that fixed, but I don't even know. How do you fix internet? I don't know. Anyways, let's walk through all of her posts because I am really bothered by them and I feel like she is trying to again get herself out of this situation even though she's not providing any good context on like why we should let her free like it seems like you are the perpetrator and the person behind britney's account so she's sus she's very sus sorry guys i'm reading some of your instagram someone messaged me janelle i'll try to get back to your dm comment on one of my pictures and write like uh check your dms because that always helps so I'm going to go through and read all of the things that Cassie posted on her Instagram page in response to my video. And then we could talk about like the um, lies that she included and a few other things as we go. Hey guys for joining. I see some of you guys joining. Um, I am lagging a little bit. Sorry guys, the audio is great, but I am sorry that the visuals is lagging a little bit. Um, again, I don't know how to fix this because my internet is just not that great, but we're going to work through it. Anyways, she, pers she first posted this on her channel. First and foremost, I absolutely adore Britney Spears' fan base. They are incredible, loyal, and passionate about her. I admire them, and I know everything they do and say is because they truly love her, period. Which is why it's been easy for me to overlook some of the nasty comments that have been thrown my way over the years, because I knew deep down it's all out of love for one of the greatest pop stars of all time. I'm glad she recognizes that, but um, yeah, it's a little bit, <laughs> it's a little bit much. Um, let's continue. However, here's the however. She wanted to like start off like good with the fan base and like make sure that we're like on her team or you know, that she's trying to make it seem like she's on our team even though she's not. Um, anyways, however, there are a lot of inaccurate theories. Thank you, Elfin, um, you sloaned her. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that was a thing. Thank you so much. I appreciate the donation. And I'm sorry again for the lagginess, guys. I 
don't know what to do anyways okay so however there are a lot of inaccurate inaccurate theories out there about how britney spears's social media operates and i want to give as much information as i can without violating her privacy or mine okay i don't know why it would be violating privacy like why don't we talk about the fact that you're creating fake posts but anyways i digress um she writes, Brittany creates her own posts and writes her own captions for Instagram. She finds the Google images, Pinterest images, quotes, memes, and everything else herself. Nobody is suggesting any of that stuff to her. So no one is telling her, oh, maybe you should post this. She generally edits the videos herself. If a video she sends is edited by her social media team, it's because she gave them specific instructions and asked for it to be edited that way. Then she sees it and decides if she wants to post it or not. <sighs> okay, so that's supposedly what's going on. And I want you guys to remember to this remember this little bit of information here because as we go to her Instagram later on, you guys will see that she posted a video about an hour ago where she talks about doing another Q&A. And for this Q&A video, she starts off saying, I've been hearing that you guys have a lot of questions for me. That's a key word because she's been hearing it. Someone's been telling her. She hasn't been reading them. If she was reading the comments, she would say that she was reading them. So I don't know. I don't know if I fully believe this part right here. She has stated many times that she creates her po creates the posts, but the people continue to believe conspiracy theories over what Britney says over and over again. Have we had Britney like freely speak at all recently? Like I don't think Britney has freely spoken about this situation at all. Um, Britney is not asking for help or leaving secret messages in her social media. That's crazy because I was, I just made a video like last week is Britney Spears asking for help. So um, there she is trying to actually quote one of my videos. She is literally just living her life and trying to have fun on Instagram. Just living her life. Okay, you mean her controlled life? 13 years this week, she's been controlled in a conservatorship. Mm. And she's just living her life. Wow. She has a team to help strategize like any major celebrity generally does at some point in their career. Well, she's on a working strike, so uh, I don't know why she'll need to strategize. Almost every person has a social media team, just like they have a manager, a publicist, a record label, etc. So honestly, if Cassie's here, hey girl, join in the chat. Um, you could DM me on Instagram. I've been waiting for one, honestly. And if, as soon as you do, I'll be on YouTube to be talking about it. Thank you, uh, Savita, for your donation and your little tea sticker. I really appreciate that. So let's continue. This part is where it gets <gasps> crazy, guys. I'm so excited that we're live and actually hanging out because I need you guys to like talk to me about this moment. So <laughs> she writes, I was not hired by Brittany via Lou Taylor. I don't know Anastasia Brown, which again, you need to watch my video to see what she's referring to. That's not how I met Brittany and her team. This is another assumption, another example of assumptions being made rather than understanding true facts. Oh yeah, because Lou and Taylor is all about the true facts. Crowd Booster is a data tool, not a bot interacting with people. Again, an assumption being made with no true facts. These she's literally following my video to a t like this is an order of my video which is insane like she's responding in order of topics but since you're bringing up lou m taylor why don't we talk a little bit about lou m taylor because you guys know that she is the wicked witch of west hollywood and she has been running britney's life and she's known as the originator creator of the whole conservatorship in general so um it's definitely <laughs> she's definitely like not a vibe and I thought about it. You know what, Cassie, you say you're not involved with Lou and Taylor at all. Yet we came across this lovely image that was deleted from her page and then reposted from her page. And so many people are talking about this one right now. So let's talk about it. She posted this picture where back in 2015, where she, you know, posts some food that honestly doesn't even really look good. And I have to, re I have to read the caption because, and I have to read it in slow-mo. Finally got to experience the glorious cooking of Daddy Spears of Daddy Spears. Can we go back and remind you guys who Daddy Spears is? James Spears. She's referring to him as Daddy Spears. Daddy Spears. Oh my gosh, I'm really not trying to get sick. My stomach's starting to hurt. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to, like, is this shade? I don't know, but I'm... Daddy Spears. Ew, Cassie, I don't know if you have daddy 
issues or something, honey, because uh, the whole Daddy Spears situation, he is not your daddy, nor should you ever be calling the man who like low-key employs you daddy. That makes me think that you guys have some uncomfortable relationship. Thank you, Modern HR, for your donation. I really appreciate that. You're so kind. You say good luck. Thank you guys. I was really nervous to get on here and talk about this, but I just like had to come on here and I have a moment with you guys where we really just talk like friends because I need someone to talk to. My boyfriend doesn't keep up with this stuff and we need to talk. So back to the picture. She writes, finally got to experience the glorious cooking of Daddy Spears. <laughs> One of the best meals I've had in my life. What is going on here? Hashtag Team TriStar for hosting a fabulous event. Team TriStar, you mean Lou and Taylor, the one you're trying to disconnect yourself from? The one you're over here saying, I was not hired by Lou and Taylor. I don't, I don't even know them. I'm not connected through them and Britney's team. It just seems like such BS to me. And I like, I, I saw this post and she took it down and then she put it back up. And I'm just like, what is going on here? Don't you ever, Cassie, and this is your warning. Don't you ever call James Spears daddy again. Like that is one strike right there. You do not call James daddy ever again like and actually don't ever call anyone else's like don't even call your own dad daddy like that um you're a grown woman but like please please don't ever do that again that what not no that's me telling you you're not allowed to do that again that was too far that was too far and um you guys might remember actually back in the day that there was the zone. It was recently closed because this building was pretty much created so that Britney's team could still make money without having to use Britney Spears. So they can use her old outfits, they could use stage props and everything like that. And they don't actually have to use Britney, they can just charge people with ticket fees and they will make money that way. Britney never went to the zone. And there's a reason why, because she didn't support the zone. She didn't want to go to the zone. They wanted to pay her a million dollars to go to the zone and she still didn't want to go. So that shows she did not want to go and support it. But Cassie, Cassie had the most fun at the zone uh, with Lou M. Taylor at Lou M. Taylor's building. Look at it. She's posted these pictures of at the zone, hanging out with the zone staff, so close to Lou M. Taylor and her business uh, team. So wow, she had fun in the circus ball pit and it's true glory. So it's really interesting you're over here posting on social media that you have no relationship with Lou M. Taylor, but um, you're over here playing in Lou's balls, literally. So uh, Cassie girl, this has just begun. You just joined the corrupt crew of quitter uh, of quitters. They should quit at this point. They should quit, but I call them critters because these people are honestly monsters for what they have done to Britney Spears. Sarah said microwave meal. Oh no, it really is a microwave meal though. Like I would never eat that, even if you put that in front of me. I'm not that big of a fan of like beans either. Like if I see beans, I run. So um, yeah, the fact that she called Britney Spears's father Daddy Spears will forever send me. Like there will be no, like I will forever, like I can't forgive her for that one. I just can't forgive her. So um, that's, it's just wild. Let's move on to the next piece because I can keep going on and on about that one. So she continued posting on Instagram and here is the seventh piece that she posted. She posted nine screenshots to be clear. And I wonder, like, did she send these screenshots through her communications team? Like, what was the situation for the screenshots? Because I, I feel like, or not the screenshots, for the message that she released. Because I have a feeling it went through communication. Um, I have a feeling it went through different uh, orgs within, you know, Crowdsurf. Because if she owns this big company, she's not just releasing a, so, like a, a quick, like, notes apology. This is probably extremely planned out. And she's specifically addressing things, like I said, that I mentioned in my video. So in this one, she's addressing a few things that I'm mentioning. The first one, she wrote, Brittany was told about repeal 50A and she decided she wanted to post it. Nobody forced her to post any narrative. She didn't want to. Again, more assumptions and zero facts. If you guys don't know what she is talking about, pretty much Britney Spears posted this. Well, she, okay, she didn't post this. Crowdsurf posted this on Twitter, but Britney posted this on her Instagram page and they look very similar because they're both about repeal 50A and Britney is not very like, um, I don't know, she's not a political or policy person. I mean, if she wants to be, oh, I would more than allow and promote that. Like, please run for office. Um, but anyways, she 
posted about repeal 50a which is kind of random because like why is she getting involved in this when she's never really gotten involved before i mean she posted with uh hillary clinton before but like you know she's not a very political person well crowdsurf also posted about this and i made the assumption and you know pretty much a conclusion that they posted this on Britney's page because CrowdSurf wanted this to go through and they used their clients as leverage to like push policy or narratives that they want to put out there in the public. So um, when it comes to the 50A situation, I definitely feel like she like, I don't know, you can't really get away with that. I mean, CrowdSurf was trying to fight with it, fight for it so hard online that it seems like a BS explanation. She also writes that I have never been to Hawaii with Britney Spears and I didn't take any of the photos on her trip. I have my own life and I'm perfectly capable of having a vacation without a client. Why are you defensive? Why are you so defensive? Like what? Did I think we just put so much so much truth and facts in front of her that she's just like I don't even know if she knows how to react because at this point it's just insane defensiveness to me at least in my perspective Brittany has never paid for me to go on any vacation with her again addressing everything I talked about in that video and let's go ahead and pull up the receipts I was referring to because you guys may remember that Brittany was in Hawaii and um Ma and maui is a maui and she was with her boyfriend for some time this past summer as you guys can see this is the bay i'm not even going to try to pronounce it. it starts with a k but there's a bay that she goes to in hawaii that she likes this is a picture at that bay resort well here is a picture of cassie in the same pool tell me that's not the same pool look it has the same filter it has literally the same filter and posted around the same time but Brittany has never ever ever allowed me to go on a vacation she's never posted with me. I've never taken a picture of her. I don't know. It just seems like BS to me. What do you mean? You guys are literally hanging out at the, on the same island at the same time. It looks like the same day. I would say that looks like the same weather to me. I mean, obviously, I don't know. But people can put two and two together, and I feel like she's just trying to write it off in kind of a defensive way, almost in a way that makes me not believe her. Like, I kind of want to listen and hear her out, and I'm actually, like, shook that she even addressed this because I feel like it's not a good look for Lou M. Taylor and TriStar, but, like, I don't know. Let's hear her out because the things that she's saying isn't really adding up. Here is another post that she posted on her page in response to my video. And this one she writes, My work on Britney's social media does not involve her conservatorship in any way. That's a court and lawyer thing. Since when do digital marketing people have anything to do with things that courts and lawyers handle? Are you insane? Actually, this is like... Though that is fighting words for me, Cassie. That is fighting words for me, especially when J Daddy Spears, when James Spears is over here purchasing articles from TMZ and trying to create a whole ruckus before court's coming up. Your job is like half of this whole conservatorship situ situation because they have to deal with Britney's posts, with uh, media, and her like her father purchasing these articles and working with like that corrupt news reporter from CNN. Those are all media outlets that are being manipulated in a way to try to promote team conservatorship's uh, me like mission and message that they want to keep Britney trapped. So her trying to play dumb and be like, you know what, like what does digital marketing have to do with anything in this conservatorship? Well, everything that we're talking about is on the internet. So probably everything to do with it. She also writes, The Four Agreements is one of the most popular self-help books at all time. Okay, so you guys may or may not know that she, so there's this book. And as you guys can see, Brittany posted it on her page. Well, guess who else posted it on their page? Cassie did, because it's Cassie's favorite book. She reads it over and over again. Like she says, can't read this one too many times. And Brittany also posted it on her page. Well, Cassie brought it up in her little, like, whatever, statement, apology. And this is what she had to say, which, again, I'm not buying it. The Four Agreements is one of the most popular self-help books at all time. Quit trying to make two women liking the same book a conspiracy theory. What? You are so defensive, bruh. Mm -mm. Her energy is just reading guilt to me. What do you mean? Don't try to make two women. She actually started off being like, oh, the Britney fans really care about her and they just want the best for her to... Don't you try to pen two women liking the same book, A Conspiracy Theory. 
Ew, like that's not the theory, honey. The theory is that you're posting whatever you want on Brittany's page or whatever Lou M. Taylor wants you to post because that's why you were hired. That is your job and you're confirming it to us. So thanks for confirming it because honestly, um, I, I, I already knew, but uh, you posting all about this and getting super defensive just like put the icing on the cake for me. Let's move along to her next post. So she also posted this one about the TikTok I addressed. So the viral TikTok about somebody getting hired to be Britney Spears' social media manager is simply not true. Not sure who made it up, but nobody has ever been asked any interview questions like that. Okay. These are facts, not the current fiction assumptions and exaggerations that are currently situ or circulating. Why don't you mention my name? Next time, just mention my name. Why don't you just like link the video at that point? Because I feel like if people were to read this and then go watch my video, they would be like, you know what? I don't know. These explanations, this like statement doesn't really make me feel any better about this situation at all. Like it doesn't make me feel like you're not the person running and doing all of this. It actually just makes me think that you're defensive about it. Here's the final post. In terms of being supportive of Britney on her social media, the best thing you can do for her is just be nice. That's all she really wants. Don't bully her. She doesn't deserve it. She's having fun in creating posts and sharing images. Um, that's it. There's not some secret agenda to it. She's having a good time, and I hope this helps people see it for what it actually is. Well, you know what? It didn't, actually. It made me see it for what it actually is, which is a complete mess, and you and your team have a faulty explanation. I don't feel like you made yourself seem any less innocent, and I don't think you made Loom Taylor and the team look good either. I feel like this is just a bad situation that you caught yourself in because you left a paper trail and some free britney supporters are smart investigators so they were able to track it down so as far as cassie i personally don't believe her explanation i'm always open to listening to what have what people have to say and what their reasoning is but like for me personally i don't believe her but you guys can um make that own choice for yourself i find it interesting that free britney didn't make it into her post why couldn't she do a little hashtag free Britney at the end? I think it's because she wanted us to know exactly what side that she's on. But let us move on. Before we go look at Britney's Instagram, I want to show you guys one quick thing because Britney's uh, ex-husband, which again, I don't like to call him her ex-husband because their marriage was annulled. They were married for like 55 hours. And if your marriage is annulled, you are no longer married. Um, it means that the marriage did not exist. So to call her like to call him her ex-husband simply isn't true but this guy is a total mess we've seen him at free britney rallies we've also saw him like go to dc and storm the capitol with everyone else that did that which that was a whole nother video we've already talked about that on my second channel the collier experience as soon as she replied in any ways it was basically uh Oh my God, the same as same as holding up a sign saying guilty. Keep up the great work, Sloan. Thank you so much. And I agree. I feel like her quickly responding to my video just shows that she was very defensive and also really guilty. So going back to Jason, pretty much he is in trouble because this guy who is a cloud seeker, in my opinion, just got um arrested. And the reason why is because he had some substances and decided to drive, which honestly, guys, here's just a quick moment on my channel. I never support drinking and driving. Please don't drink and drive. It's just not cool. Like literally, if you have to drink and drive, um, I don't know, reach out to my email and ask me to buy you an Uber. Like, I don't care. I don't, I just literally cannot stand when people try to drink and drive and I would do anything to stop anyone because I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But this man got in trouble for more than just drinking and driving, but also having substances on him and he also was um resisting arrest so not a good look for Brittany's ex-husband and he's currently set with bail at two thousand five hundred dollars so if anyone wants to go spend two thousand five hundred dollars wouldn't that fifty dollar lift be so much cheaper than the two thousand five hundred dollars you're gonna have to spend to get yourself out of jail but anyways i just think that um I just think that this is a bad look for him and after storming the capitol am i surprised i'm really not Okay, guys, let's go ahead and check out Brittany's Instagram because she has been posting today and she's been posting a lot. And you guys know when I'm on video, I just kind of bounce around and I want to bounce to her Instagram and talk about a few things because like I said, she's posting a lot. And let me refresh this because um, let's go ahead. Come on. 
Okay, I just want to make sure she hasn't posted again. Okay, so here is Brittany's page. And as you guys can see, she's posted twice in the last hour. This is one post that she recently made. And it reads, oh, I'm going to need my glasses on for this one. She actually looks really pretty here. She doesn't look happy. She looks sad to me, but she does look really pretty and healthy. But it reads, another big eye moment. This is me before I went to bed last night. I actually kind of, it's actually kind of freaking me out how big my eyes are here. P.S. The last pick is the original. Of course, she adds the filters like she likes to do. And yep, there's the original. And here is the edited one. I actually want to point out that last night Cassie posted something on Britney's page because now that we know that Britney actually posts on um, that Cassie actually posts on Britney's Instagram, we can like, you know, we we know when she's like working and when she's posing because she confirmed it to us that she posts on Britney's Instagram. But I wanted to share this because I felt like Cassie wasn't going to respond to me, but she had to respond because a lot of people were pressuring her. But before responding to me, this was like kind of her original response. You know what I mean? Like through Brittany, like trying to address my video. Sorry if that was like kind of like a looped around, but that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, it writes, I'm trying to learn how to use technology in this technology driven generation. But to be totally honest with you, I can't stand it. So if my posts aren't perfect, I'm doing this for fun. If you think I should look like I'm on a magazine cover when I dance, sorry, it ain't happening. I just feel like this, again, is Cassie posting in response to me being like, oh, yeah, Brittany just doesn't really know how to use social media. Like, that's why she's got a social media team. Like, oh, yeah, she's not great at technology. It doesn't really make sense that she's like, claiming, oh yeah, my posts aren't perfect, yet she's sending it through a whole filter, a whole organization, a whole team of people to read before she posts. I wanna play this video for you guys because this one actually really disturbs me because I mentioned it earlier, she's doing another Q&A moment, but in this video, she mentions how she has been told that there are a lot of questions going around recently, but like she didn't read it. So it's kind of odd. I'm going to read the caption first. Decided to do another Q&A because I heard y'all love them so much. Also, I realized I could have at least put on a little mascara or lip gloss. Sorry, it's definitely a different look. P.S. I'm pretty skeptical of the ice cream diet. Okay, let's go ahead and hear what she has to say. I actually haven't watched this because I was like getting ready to go live with you guys and she posted this. Oh, why is it so quiet? Come on, Brittany, speak up. Okay. Oh, I got to hit that mute on Instagram. Okay. What my main goals are for 2021. Number one is to meditate more. Number two is to take a cooking class. Number three is to do a Pilates class and actually follow through with the class. <laughs> and number four is I've got to try this ice cream diet. Wait, okay, so I heard that a lot of you guys have been writing in and you want to know what my main goals are for 2020. I heard a lot of you guys have been writing in. You know why you heard? Because Crowdsurf probably gave you a call and told you that because you're not reading the comments because you're not running your Instagram page, but okay. Number one is to meditate more. She wants to meditate more. Number two is to take a cooking class. Okay. Number three is to do a Pilates class. Maybe she wants to take a cooking class because she's paying her chef $100,000 a year to be her chef. And um, they, pro or is it more than 100,000? Was it 200? I don't remember, but overly paid. And she actually has chef in training in her bio, remember? So maybe she will get rid of that chef, AKA <coughs> Sam actually follow through with the class and number four is i've got to try this ice cream diet this ice cream diet i feel like that's not a thing am i the only one who realized she's lip syncing wait someone said she's lip syncing here is she okay, so i heard that a lot of you guys have been writing oh you want to know what my main goals are for 2021 <gasps> number one is to meditate i don't know if it's lagging for you guys but wait on number two is to take a cooking class number three like, this isn't even my internet lag. You guys know my internet isn't that great, but like, wait. To do a Pilates class and actually follow through with the class. And number four is I've got to try this ice cream diet. Oh. Okay. Maybe that's just like the, the file was a little bit weird, but I find it kind of odd that the audio is a little bit messed up. And as you guys can see, she has Chef in the Works in her bio. Finally, I want to share this last pic. She posted this on the day of the anniversary of her 13 years trapped in a conservatorship, guys. That's pretty much a life sentence right there, trapped in a conservatorship. And she posted this of a tent and it has three tent emojis. And it kind of looks like, honestly, that someone's trapped there, but also are they trapped? I don't know, but that's just kind of my takeaway from that. 
So <laughs> there are a lot of things that we talked about in this video today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm still really like annoyed with Cassie because I feel like her explanation is totally BS. Like if you're going to put um, up an explanation or a statement and like at least put hashtag free Britney in it because that already was your biggest mistake or the caption should have been hashtag free Britney because it's clear that you don't support her freedom. But sometimes at the end of my videos, I like to open up um, my P.O. Box packages and I have two actually today that I want to open up with you guys because I just got them and I always am super appreciative of when you guys send me some things. Am I lagging a ton? Oh no, the video is lagging, but you're not. Oh, okay guys, sorry. I apologize. I've been having so many issues with lagging. Why? Okay, so I got this letter from Jess of Air, and I'm gonna open it for you guys today on camera. Um, again, I hope that you guys are able to see this because I guess I'm lagging. So Jess is actually a subscriber that I've met for some time. She sent me a really cool glass piece, and I've actually ordered from her since then, but she sent me this, oh my gosh, thanks again for all you do, Jess. This was made for me by a small business, and I wanted to send you one. Oh my gosh, it's like a car, is it a car decal for Free Britney? How fitting for this video. Oh my gosh, this is so fitting. I am lagging, sorry guys, I'm sorry about it. Um, oh, that's so kind, I really appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna try to get off because I don't know why I'm lagging so much. Maybe if I put up this picture of Britney, it'll help. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to open up this second package and this one is actually from Baiju Juice in Pennsylvania. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I don't know who it's from. Again, it's from Pennsylvania, Baijo Juice, and I'm kind of nervous. It has astrological um, duct tape on the bottom, so that's pretty cool, and I really like astrology, so I vibe with that. But, ooh, I don't know if I can get this one open. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. This one says, now, see the sun. There are, like, two packages in one? I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is why I usually open my packages when I'm not on live stream because it's so hard to open them. So I apologize guys for all the ASMR that's going on here. Okay, so here is the package that someone sent me. I hope they left their name on it. Okay, so, ooh, what is going on? Okay, so they left me some, it looks like some, oh, some cards. So Bija Juice Spiritual Drip Wrapper. What does that mean? Wrapper, okay, let's check this out. So, um, Ooh, it looks like she's got little bags right in here. Again, guys, I'm sorry that it is lagging a bit. I don't know why it's lagging so much. I hate that my internet does this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I think I know who this is from. Oh my gosh. So she makes jewelry on Instagram. So let's go ahead and go in order. So this one's for Bunny, this pink one, and she made something for Bunny. I don't know if it's to go on her tag or what. Um. Oh wow, it's this cute little stone thing. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if I put this on her collar? She'll be such a baddie. Yes, that's so pretty. I love that. And the artistic ability, I just do not have. Um, okay, let me go ahead and open Mark's next. So she actually made one for my boyfriend as well. And look how cool the little like pen is here. She has some stones and stuff on the pen itself. Um, let's go ahead, go ahead and open this one. I think this one is a keychain, if I remember correctly. <gasps> yes, it is. Wow. So here is the keychain and she's got some rocks in it with some metal. Oh, it's so cool. I love how the metal like matches between the two. Oh my gosh, I love when you guys make stuff. It's so awesome. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Oh, it's so cute. And then finally, let's open the one that I have. And this one's in the blue packaging and I'll let you guys go because I know the lagging is probably really annoying. So um, this one again has the pin with the stones on it. And I think this one might be a necklace. So I'm really excited. Oh my gosh. Let's see. So the wrap, the wrapping is really nice. She really made sure it's safe. Ooh, and this one is oh, wow. It's so pretty. And she gave me a necklace moment. Oh my gosh, I want to see if I can like take it apart and try to ooh, try to put it on. Yeah. Oh no, she got a package too good. So that's what it looks like. Wow. I wanted to wear this in a new video soon. Oh my gosh, you guys will see this in my next video for real. Oh, uh, thank you so much, friend. And definitely check out her check out her company. It's called 
Bijou Juice, B-I-J-O-U. I'll try to link it below. Um, but thank you so much. And her Instagram is B-I-J-O-U Juice. So how creative and talented. I love when you guys send me stuff because you're so creative and talented and I'm just like not. And I'm just so appreciative to know that creative and talented people are watching my videos and just feel um I don't know that you want to send me something. It's such a, it's like a, an amazing feeling and it makes me feel special. So thank you so much for that. It's, um, it's just so kind and giving, and I will always give you guys a shout out. If you send me anything at the end of the video, I love opening these items at the end because sometimes we talk about really dark item or dark topics. So to open these at the end, kind of lighten up the mood, but I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Cassie, you're going to need to do better next time. Okay, sis. Bye guys.